Thanks for joining us here on Baby Weight TV. Joining me today is my friend now, who is 39 weeks and five days pregnant. And she's very ready to not be pregnant anymore. <laughs> So, so with Now's assistance, I will show you, as I show her, a few things that you can do to help activate labor. Uh, first of all, I will encourage you to be patient and know that your baby, trust that your baby will come when he or she is ready. <laughs> However, if you really feel your body's ready and your baby's ready and you want to do some things to help the process along, these are a few things that can help. We'll practice wide leg squats first. So step your feet open wide in standing with your toes pointed outward on a diagonal. Inhale your arms out and up overhead and exhale, bend your knees as you come down as low as you comfortably can, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Inhale, reaching up, exhale, lowering down. Follow your breath. This can help open the pelvis and obviously put your body in a position where you're letting gravity do the work of bringing the baby further down as you come down further into the squat. So if you're up for it, you can try doing several sets of 10 to 20 of these squats a day at the end of your pregnancy. Of course, once you've reached full term, as now has two more of these for now, but again, you can do as many as you feel comfortable with throughout the day, lowering your hands down, bringing your feet a little closer together, and then use your hands to help you come into a full squat position. If your heel cords and calves aren't flexible enough to let you be in a full squat with your heels down, you can do a modified version up on your heels as I am. Now is able to come into that full squat, bringing your hands to your heart if you're able, or keep them down for balance if that's more comfortable. And spending up to a few minutes at a time in this position is really great for preparing the body for giving birth. And again, allowing the pelvis to open and letting gravity do the work of trying to move the baby down into the birth canal. So squats are good. We'll try to stay here for several more deep breaths, breathing deeply. Other things you can do during your day, lots of walking. That again is letting gravity help bring the baby down. So walking, walking, walking as much as you're comfortable. Other things that stimulate, can stimulate the uterine contractions are sex. Um, sex is also good because sperm softens the cervix, but orgasms, in fact, are what cause, can cause the contractions to get started. So you don't necessarily have to have sex for that to happen. Using your hands to come back up to stand helping you back up. Along the lines of walking, another little exercise you can do is just lifting one knee up high and then shifting to the opposite leg. So just coming down low in between, lifting and down, up. Good, so just knee lifts with knee bends in between. Exhaling as you come down, inhaling to lift that knee. Good. Again, as low as you want, as low as you're comfortable, the lower you go, the more it might help that baby move down. Good. Two more. Last one. Good. And then we'll move back into another full squat. Heels up or heels down. If you need to do the squat with your heels up, in order to be here comfortably for longer, 
you can roll up a towel and place it under your heels so you can rest on it. That'll help you keep your balance as well. Breathing deeply. And again, spending as long as you comfortably can. And I encourage you to try to make it even three or four or five minutes at a time in this position. Activating a Kegel contraction here, then actively releasing, and then perhaps pushing just a little to feel your perineum open. You only want to do this if you're ready to activate labor. Activating a Kegel contraction, hold for a breath, release it slowly, and then push just gently. That helps the muscles of the body relax to help the baby move down and give the body the signal that you're ready to go into labor using your hands to come up to standing once more for one last exercise. So step those feet up and open wide, place your hands on your thighs and bend your knees, really using the weight of the hands on the thighs to take the weight here so that you can rest your thighs in this position, pressing your knees open here and then gently bounce. Good. Coming up slowly. Excellent. Remember, be patient. Your baby will come in its own time but these tips might help him come a little sooner.